My name is Troy Cipher. I own Cipher Specialties in Cipher Automotive. We are, you know, we're, we're working on everything here from 30s up to 70s vehicles, but uh, it's a special day when we're able to take a look at a time capsule like this and a timepiece uh, from the 30s. And these cars, uh, no matter what they are, they're near and dear to my heart because it's a, it's a time that I think is a lot of fun. <laughs> And these cars just, they just ooze that style and that class from back then. So uh, we really enjoy this and thank you for the opportunity to, to take a look at this car and go over it. Again, I haven't seen anything like this, but uh, if you guys have any of your 30s vehicles that you want to get taken care of, come on over. We're over in Wheat Ridge and uh, come and see us. We'll, uh, we'll take good care of your baby. Okay. So it's been a long time since I've seen an old Plymouth, let alone a 31 Plymouth like this and a sedan, uh, I have not seen one in my life. And we've seen a lot of cars over here. Some of the cool aspects of this car, uh, and this was pretty common to Model A Fords, Chevys, uh, but the flip open windshield allowed for a ton of air to get inside. So that was our air conditioning back then. Well, not mine, but back in the 30s. And uh, that was really, really a, a cool thing to have. A lot of the other early 30s cars, uh, General Motors and Ford had little pop-up cowls here. Um, and these guys had design, more design style in the car, as you can see with the, the strips on the, on the hood. The chrome radiator uh, grill shell uh, is a pretty unique piece too, because a lot of the other cars, this was, this was painted. These were not chrome on a lot of the Fords and uh, and Chevrolets back then. So that's a really cool aspect of the car. Um, just the originality of it is, that's the best part. And a lot of people nowadays are, that's what they want. They want cars that are original. And uh, the hot rods are great, but if you can find something that's in original condition like this, uh, we call that patina. And it's really cool now. Um, just the accents with the mirrors, uh, there's just so many neat pieces. The suicide rear doors, uh, you know, you could you could hang your machine gun out there and you'd be able to, to get it done if you need to, but lots of leg room in this car. Uh, and, you know, with the four cylinder, I'm sure you can cruise probably just nicely down the road and be in pretty good comfort with this guy. Yeah, it's a, it's a time piece for sure. Very cool. And this thing, this is one of the coolest aspects too, is he's got the old instruction book. It wasn't an owner's manual, it was an instruction book, right? Mm -hmm. And that's the guy. So uh, it's this has some really cool aspects that you would find in a regular manual, wiring diagrams. Back then they built the cars so that you could actually work on them yourselves. Yeah, try to do that today. You know, you can't do that. Uh, but all of the steering pieces and suspension and wiring in your instruction book. I think that's awesome. So, what else we got that's neat about this car? I mean, there's just so much. Back around the back, he's got the luggage rack uh, that he normally has. It's a little difficult to fill the gas tank, but uh, if you can mount that back here and be able to uh, put all your luggage back here when you go cross country, which is awesome. It's, uh, it's pretty cool.